guys, Jen here from Ain and Suds and Such and Be Scented Fragrance Oil Supply. I am doing a series of videos to help you guys with how to, let's see, soap making for beginners or just like simple soap making. Um, soaping Basics, that's what it was called. I forgot. And I actually had to take down the series of videos that I did because I found an error in my recipe. See, that's one reason why you have to double, 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 and triple check your recipe because I made an error. So we're doing that again. And um, I've designed a recipe that I think is going to be fantastic. And I have used it before. And um, I have given this recipe out before for other soapers to use. It's not like bare basic, you know, never made soap before recipe. Because um, it has shea butter, cocoa butter, uh, castor oil, olive oil, and coconut oil. So it's not like just a plain Jane soap. Um, it's got additives in it. And it's going to be a perfect, uh, wonderful recipe. So, but this video is for lye safety and measuring out how to do your lye. So, let's get to it. Let's see. You guys see everything okay? I hope so. Okay, so we'll go over what you need. Um, you will need a good scale. Um, this is the KD 8000 I have had for, I don't know, a year or more. I really love my scale. It's been through rough times. Um, I had a child poke through my power button, Mr. Noah. Um, you'll need your water. I use distilled water. Um, it's not like... Um, 100% you have to use distilled water. Um, it's recommended because it removes the impurities and stuff that is in the water uh, that can transfer to your soap and cause some troubles. A lot of people used uh, purified water, spring water, their tap water. So it's not like, oh, you have to have distilled water. Um, it is just recommended. So that's what I use. You need your lye. Um, I pre-mix, or I won't pre-mix mine. I uh, buy mine in bulk and I measure it out into this container. You'll need a container to measure your lye into. You'll need a, a heat safe and lye safe container. This is stainless steel. If you use plastic, you need the it starts with a P. I can't say the name, but I'll leave a link in the description box below of what container you need. So, I'm fixing this. It seems to be, it looks a bit crooked. I don't know. I recommend either stainless steel or that plastic. Any other plastic, um, the lye can eat it and it can leach into your uh, soap. And I do not recommend glass. Lots of people use the Purex glass containers. I do not recommend that because glass etches. Over time, it will it etches the glass and over time, one of the times you're gonna mix the lying in it and it's gonna shatter. This is like a fail safe here, stainless steel. Can't use it, you cannot use aluminum. It has to be stainless steel. You need gloves. You need your mixing tool, and I always use Tusk of Silk in my soaps. So, and this is a two pound recipe we're gonna be using. And there is my silk. Depending on where you buy your silk, depends on what it looks like. All right, so let's get our scale on. Turn it some so I can see it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is tear out my container. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my silk in there. Let's back you guys up as much as I can so you guys can see. And my recipe I have out here, um, when I go to mix my oils and stuff, I will go over the recipe with you guys. But I need six ounces of water for the two pound batch. Slow her down. I have my, I have my sunglasses on. 
my hat and helmet. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome sauce. Yeah. All right. So we shall set that aside. Put this container on. We'll tear it out. We need 3.42 ounces of lye. So I'm going to actually do like 3.4. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put my lie back up. Let me get my gloves on. I should have had my gloves on before I measured out my lie. I'm so sorry. What was I thinking? Oh, need gloves on. Gloves, gloves. These gloves I got at the dollar store and with the medicine band-aids. No, stop. I no. And we're going to measure this in here and turn the fan on. You will have fumes for about 20 seconds. children <laughs> um if you do not have a fan like i do that is my i you know of course work on my stove um in my kitchen and i have a vent here that i turn on when i do my lie if you do not have one either mix it at an open window or outside um bring it in after you know the fumes are gone and dissipated you do not want to breathe that in. Um, if you do, you will be all sorts of choked up. You do not want to breathe that in. And I must stress, never ever pour the water into your lye. Uh, this is what I have my lye measured into. You always pour the lye into the water. Um, that is the biggest thing you need to know when you're mixing your lye is that you have to pour the lye beads or if you use flakes the flakes into the water if you do it the other way around it will cause an explosion uh, not an explosion sorry but it'll cause a volcano effect so what I do now um, this is all pretty clear as you can see uh, my silk is already all melted this is super hot so what I do is I move it to my kitchen sink and I fill the sink with cold water about halfway or a quarter to a half of the way up my container and I just let it sit in there until I'm ready. By the time I get everything else done, my lye water is cool, room temperature, if not a little bit cooler, and we are ready to go. So this concludes the first video on lye safety and measuring. I hope this helps some new people. Uh, stay tuned for the second episode, and it will be um, prepping oils. So, thanks for watching.